Um, did you check out our value proposition? I did. And do you have any questions about it? Well, it seemed like a pretty fair market value for it, so. Now, what is our value proposition? You don't even know what I'm talking about. No. Most customers, by the way, most customers won't either. What am I talking about, by the way? What is the value? What is the Apple Chevrolet value proposition, and why would it be important to me as a customer to understand what it is? Are you talking about like more commissions? Like you already know this. <laughs> I just went through this with you this morning. You are not allowed to answer any questions right now, Josh. That's you too. Okay, but if I ask you a question, you better know the answer. Adam, you're exempt as well from answering questions. What is the Apple, what is it, let me explain, what, let me back up. And a, a value proposition is things that will want to make me do business with Apple Chevrolet. And there's plenty of Chevrolet stores around here. According to Josh, um, there's four within 15 minutes? Yeah. Yeah, okay, you're like Atlanta, only, only bigger. In Atlanta, which is a much smaller city than this, there's 22 or 23 Chevrolet stores. So there's lots of choices. So a Chevrolet, a Chevrolet is a Chevrolet is a Chevrolet is a Chevrolet. Unless you can make your Chevrolets different. Are your Chevrolets different? Not fundamentally. Okay, not fundamentally. I'll, I'll buy that as an answer. Um, but why would I want to do business here? as opposed to Phillips or uh, any of the other Chevrolet, Chevrolet stores around. Why would I want to do business here? The service we provide. Okay. That's sort of a generic answer. What, am I going to run into any salesperson in any Chevy, Chevy store that says, welcome to our store, my name is Steve, you are? Hey, our service department sucks. <laughs> We're not going to, no salesperson is going to say that. No. So what makes me want to do business here? What do you do differently? Family owned, and say that again. And um, the value customer loyalty is less than one of the dealership. That's okay, the that, that's abstract, but you're on the right path, okay? Let me tell you what I've seen here, okay? I've, I've been here since 8 o'clock. What time is it? 1.30. So what, how, what is that, five and a half hours? Yeah. I've been here five and a half hours, and what I've seen is an extremely veteran sales team with some new people sprinkled in, but most of the salespeople I've met here have been here for some time. What does that tell you about a dealership's culture? People want to stick around. Um, do most dealerships have a culture where salespeople want to stick around? I turn around. Uh, turn over. <laughs> uh, you say to me or I say to well, no, turnaround and turnover are two completely different things. It's called Webster. I've read it. Okay. Uh, what, what this tells me about this organization is it's a nice place to work. If it's a nice place to work, what would that also lead me to believe as a customer? Nice place to buy. It's a nice place to buy. Now, some of you are thinking, well, Steve, that ain't the way it works around here because everybody's real price conscious and all they want is the best deal. Is that what some of you are thinking? Probably so. And by the way, it's okay. It's what, that's what the customer wants you to believe. Um, you guys have got an extremely stable, well-tenured sales team. Does that have meaning to most customers? Not all. I get it. Most. Okay. Uh, Jeff, I buy a Tahoe from you. What do I get? What do I get from, uh, I, I know what I get from the factory. You get my cell phone number. You can call me anytime. Oh, know. okay. I, I like that. Okay. I, I know salespeople who are really good at just taking the customer's phone and punching their cell phone number into that customer's phone so the customer's got their name and number in the phone. And they do it so the customer can call them anytime for any reason. Does it backfire once in a while? Yeah, once in a while it backfires. Okay, but it's not a bad idea at all.